my name is Chef Anirban. I'm working in Inspiria Knowledge Campus, Shiliguri, as a chef faculty. Usually, I'm from West Bengal, Kolkata, and this eastern part of India is very fond of fish and rice. You can say the staple food for them. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare fried fish and chips. This is very common in England or in Engli as an English food, but I will show the methodology how to make it simplified with a touch of Bengali garam masala and some spices. So without further delay, let me show you what are the ingredients. Without that, we cannot make fried fish and chips. Obviously, chips will refer you to the potato chips. I have taken 300 grams of fish fillet. It's near about 4 into 3 centimeter. Length is 4 and 3 width centimeter. Now, you can go to the supermarket and purchase it directly, the fish fillet. The fillet, one fish fillet will not more than uh, 50 to 60 grams and you can take one I have take today one two three four five fillet I am going to show you how to make that okay so with that what are the ingredients we are using mainly we have three different segments or steps to make it done one filleting of fish second we need to marinate it for the marination I have taken some peeled onion near about 50 grams of peeled onion ginger 20 to 25 grams garlic cloves I have taken which is already peeled near about 20 grams salt as per the taste black pepper corn for little hotness garam masala powder as i have mentioned in the eastern region of india we use spices it's, it's contain it consists of cinnamon cardamom and small cardamom or green cardamom and a little bit of cloves so let's start the process of making as i have already cut the fillets of the fish and keep it aside i will start with the first marination with bit of lemon juice, salt and mustard paste. Before you start the process, you can roll it with some, uh, with some hand pressure so that the juice will come out properly. Then you can start. That's it. Uh, sea bass or bhet ki file has its own aroma, strong aroma. So uh, many of us do not like that aroma. To eliminate that aroma from the raw fish, we have added near about two teaspoon or 30 ml of lemon juice. Now, I will keep the fish aside. I will make the marination now. For the marination, second marination you can say, it, I have taken some peeled onion and I will cut it roughly. You can take out the white part of the onion, which is not edible. Near about 50 grams of onion. 
ginger roughly cutted cilantro or coriander a good amount of coriander you can take some mint if you want to so i have washed it properly you need to wash it the the coriander because some sands should may be there so be very careful wash it properly before you are going to grind it now in a grinder in a mixer grinder i will add all of this first of all onion roughly cutted onion roughly chopped ginger coriander or dhania patta in local language dhania patta and uh, we call it coriander leaves bit of mustard paste here bit of garam masala small teaspoon one and two near about 10 grams some ajinomoto no it will not kill you listen to medical science has uh, presented some papers on that and monosodium glutamate is only for the flavoring umami taste will come with that now i am adding a little bit of salt for the seasoning garlic cloves 20 grams whole black pepper corn if you want you can broil it broiling means uh, whole spices or herbs you can toss it into pan in dry heat so that the outer shell will be crispier and it will become very powdery easily and i am adding bit of green chili you can add as per your taste roughly cut it because it all will grind it into a smooth paste now i will grind it you can add bit of vinegar that's it now i am going to grind it After a few minutes you can check so that you can understand it will make a good green paste very smooth paste we want I will grind it once more So as you can see, it has become a very good smooth paste, a very green in color and I will apply it into my first marinated fish. Just drain the water, the excess water and then apply the marination with your spoon or maybe finger.
So avoid your hand, naked hand for marinating this. If you want, you can just flip it off and mix it. Very gently you need to mix it. And you keep it in refrigerator for 15 minutes. Until then, I am going to cut my potatoes and start boiling it. So this is done for first and second marination is done. I will put it into the refrigerator for 15 minutes to half an hour as per your preference. What I am going to do, I am going to cut my finger uh, like potatoes into finger shaped. I will clean the place. And I will cut it into batten shape or jardinier you can say. Now I will start it with that. Trim the potato properly from the sides. Same like your french fries. You can see the shape is something like that. You can use the trimmings in your uh, mashed potato or any kind of Indian vegetables. But use this, do not throw that. I will also use it for making mashed potato later on. As you can see, and now I will start boiling it. Let it boil, and by then I will cut the tomato sorry the onion and tomato for the garnishing and the salad Thin slices of onion will be your accompaniment. You can call it lacha onion as well. Now I'm going to pair this with a paring knife. Now this is the tomato, a good ripe tomato which is very firm. And now I'm going to pair this with a paring knife. It's a very old traditional method of making rows with the outer skin of the tomato. I'm taking out the very carefully the outer skin of the tomato. And I will roll it like this and make a small tomato. Yeah, that will be okay. And I will use this tomato, I will not throw this for making puree or something like that. And you can make a small garnish with this. 
okay a flower of tomato yeah that's nice so you need to parboil it not fully boil you need to parboil the potatoes and then put it into deep freezer i will put it into ice water so it will become very crispy and very tight from the outer shell and will become very tasty the onions as well before you serve as the salad or an accompaniment if you want put it into the ice water the onion will become very crispy now you can see this this could be your garnish okay you need to check once that it is partially cooked or not yeah it is partially cooked and i will stop the cooking potatoes are partially cooked and near about 50 to 60% it is cooked now i will keep it into refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes then i will fry it now i will show you how to prepare the bread crumbs this is the normal bread white bread or brown bread you can put it into oven or otg for 5 to 10 minutes and you need to keep on keep on eyes that it will become uh, crunchy from the outer side dehydrated and then you can grind it in mixer grinder and your bread crumb will be ready now i will add some salt in my bread crumbs so that it will be properly seasoned and i will mix it and then i will add some vermicelli to give a good outer texture i will crush it with my hand and i will add it to bread crumbs so when we will coat the fish fillet it will help okay i am keeping it aside now i will break the eggs i have washed three eggs and i have kept here break the eggs and three for the egg wash salt and whisk it properly this become very uh, fluffy in texture i will clean the place a little bit and then i will proceed for the final preparation i need some space as well so clean the area if you do not have lemon available in your place you can add bit of um, acetic acid or vinegar now these are the main thing one is your egg wash bread crumb i have kept some mayonnaise as an accompaniment today with any kind of fries we are very fond of having mayonnaise so i have kept some mayonnaise with that and let me start with the heating of oil
I need 180 degrees centigrade for a perfect deep frying. Keep in mind, the smoke will not come out from your oil, but your oil should be very hot. So my setup is ready. My setup is ready. Now I will add some flour with my fish for binding. Otherwise the egg will not coat it properly, the fish and the breadcrumbs. So I will bring the fish from the refrigerator now and then we will start. Here it is very nicely marinated with the paste. We have made the green paste and little bit of lemon juice and salt. That's it. Now I will add a bit of flour. In the culinary terminology we call it dredging. If I show you, this is the process actually. Very light coating of your flour and then egg wash and then bread crumb crumb so it become very crispy indeed and if it rains outside it's too much very gently because fish is very you have to be very careful when you are dealing with fish i love to have a single crumb in my fish fried fried fish Many of you can love double crumbing, but double crumb will give you a very tough coating outside. So, I will wash my hand and then I will give a proper shape. Clean the place. Cleaning your surroundings is very important while you are working in a kitchen, mainly in professional kitchen. So this is also done. Now I am going to give a proper shape. You can use your knife. and place it here use your knife to hold it have a good gentle press from the top and from the side and you are ready giving a proper shape of your fried fish is very important press it from the top and it will look very nice egg yeah number two three As I have said, you can go for double crumbing. That's up to your choice. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the place and I'm going to start frying my potatoes.
this is your crumbed fish which is marinated for 15 to 20 minutes in refrigerator with the green paste I have made and lemon juice obviously and seasoning egg wash and then your bread from now my oil is also ready is heated up properly and I'm going to fry it until it becomes light golden brown I have taken out the potatoes it is also chilled from the inside and I'm going to fry it you can deep fry your potatoes okay twice to get a good color and crispiness from the outside use this kind of strainer or perforated spoon like this to strain the potato from the oil give some time good food requires good time to cook so when you are cooking have some patience follow the process and your platter will be overwhelmed by the great food you can keep it in refrigerator as well for half an hour before you are going to fry it will be very uh, crispy and properly seated It is very nice golden brown color already and I'll take it out in a perforated drain the oil properly and then take it out make some space for fried fish so now my oil is already ready and I'm going to fry this very carefully. It is a very nice evening snacks. It could be a very nice evening snacks. Um, maybe in your uh, dinner buffet it will be your starter or the fish course we will wait for the good color and the fry a good smell and aroma is coming out as uh, i am here i'm cooking with that so i can smell a very good aroma of sea bass or bhitki Indian sea bass
by the meantime I will get ready with the plates The onion become very crispy now and I will use this lacha onion as my salad. Okay? This nice golden color will give a indication that your fries are fried already. Okay. Now I am going to deep fry my french fries or potatoes again. ठंडा पानी डालना उसमें Now my french fries are ready to serve. It's become light golden in color. My plating is ready and just to drain the excess oil from this and then I will add it. By that time I will place my fish fingers, sorry fish fries here. And two spring of coriander leaves on the top of the yeah. It could be relished. Thank you for watching me here in Inspiria Knowledge Campus. I hope. The next video will be more interesting with some uh, interesting preparations which is delicious as well. Presentation you can do by your own but this full fried fish and chips will give you immense uh, pleasure in a rainy season or maybe in a uh, evening of winter. Enjoy, bon appetit. Thank you.